Okay, we want to look at customizing a V8i task menu using our civil tools. And um, in the workspace configuration, we have a variable to point to our DGN libraries that contain our customizations. So under MS DGN lib list, uh, we can navigate to and select various task navigation customization DGN libraries and we can store as many of these as we like. To edit a DGN library um, using any of our civil tools or placing any civil tool operations in those libraries we do things a little bit differently uh, to begin with. In this case I want to place site modeler tools into my DGN library. Prior to entering into my DGN DGN library, I'm going to open up Site Modeler. This will make those tools active for me to copy into. Well, let's move into our DGN library. I'm going to allow the project, the Site Modeler project, to be read only. And I'm going to open up my Civil Task Menu, DGN Library. Under Workspace Customize, my menu will open and I have tools on the left that I can add into my tasks. So you see we have tasks, we have main tasks, we have a menu bar and context menus. First we need to know what each of these are. Our tasks are simply our task menus that are created over to our left in this case. Our main task is the menu that appears at the top of our task menu and provides us with specific tools that we may need to do a specific task. Menu bar is just that. It's a bar across the stream that can houses our menus. Context menus are menus that are created by right clicking and give us an array of tools at our disposal. In this example, I place Site Modeler Element Information, Adding Elements, Add Edit Element, and Model Height Analysis Tools in my context menu. Context menus can be set up. Um, using expressions as well where specific tools will only be active uh, say in the case of a reference file being open we would have tools to move or clip that reference file if that is active so we can do a lot of things using express so what is a task a task is a set of tools or commands that we use to accomplish just that a task so in this case, we have a, a task menu for drawing, drawing composition, civil design, storm design, water and sewer design, and so forth. So let's just look at an example of civil design. In civil design, I have a specific set of main task tools at my disposal. In a civil design, I'm using workflows to complete my tasks. A workflow is simply a collection of tools in a specific order for the user to gain familiarity with to create or complete a task. So in this workflow, to complete a civil design, I first create a DTM. I next create alignments. Next, I create or edit my surface. And finally, we complete analysis. If we go into, let's say, create a DTM, and we change it from the icon layout mode to the list layout mode, I can see my task is essentially three steps. Extract graphics, build triangles, and load my DTM feature. Obviously, there's more tools available to us in our DTM 
application than those. But for the task of completing a simple BTM, those are all the tools I need. I can then edit or check my TIN. Again, using specific tasks in a specific order. I may need to or opt to create a DTM by importing Land XML. And then I may subsequently need to analyze that TIN. So a task is made up of tools in a specific order to complete a task. Let's look at how we get back to where we started. Our task comes complete with forward and backward buttons and a home button menu. If your task menu does not have these at the top, you'll want to into workspace preferences, task navigation, task navigation preferences, and dialog presentation options. Be sure your navigation tools is toggled. As you can see, if we untoggle them, the navigation tools disappear. So again, we'll toggle them. Now let's look at how we construct a task. In this case, because I'm already home, my tools are grayed out. I may want to, or opt to, uh, create another task that would involve building a pond. So go into my main task, application. I'll open up the library that's available to me. And I'm going to open up Civil Design. And I'm going to right click and create a new task. And this task will be called Pond Design. I want to treat this task as a workflow. And that will essentially just give it that workflow icon. Now what do we do when we create a, a pond? Maybe created using an object and adding elements. So for that, object tools. Now I don't need to place a add model because by simply selecting the new object, if a model isn't open, I'll get the model open dialog. So I copy the new object. I go to pond design. And you can see paste is grayed out. So what I want to do is put a new task in here. And I may say create or edit object. And now I can paste. So let's look and see how that looks. If we go into our civil design, you can see I now have pond design. And when I open pond design, I'm going to add a new object. The next thing I want to do is add elements to that object. So again, I'll add a new task. And now we'll go and add elements. Again, if Site Modeler is not open, these tools, these Site Modeler tools will not be available to you. So we'll copy and paste. Now up here in our Create Edit Object, I may also want to place my Edit Object. Now when I create a pond with a bench, after I add my first element, I use the side slope tool 
to then create my bench. And I may also use my uh, parallel element tool, copy site elements, parallel, parallel, copy, paste. So let's look out and see how that works. So I create an object and I then come in here and edit my object by adding elements. And if I want to create a bench and then place side slopes.